what is up guys team snagam west here with our side quest season two draft recap you guys might already see the whole squad on the screen right now so we just wrapped up season two draft for side quest doubles draft league and we get to pick eight pokemon and it's vgc rules so you bring six but you only pick battle with four and obviously it's doubles as well we had the 12th overall pick 12th overall pick so kind of toward the bottom there's 16 coaches so we're kind of toward the bottom which is good because we kind of get like an early kind of wheel pick to say the least there um so we went ahead and scooped up Incineroar or Incineroar, however you want to say it, doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> they're all made up characters anyway, you can say them however you want. Um, Incineroar was actually number three overall on my draft board. Obviously, you could probably pinpoint the two of them that went before. Um, one of them went first overall. That was Rillaboom. Rillaboom was number one on my draft board, which makes sense. Um, went first overall, of course. And then Togekiss was number two on my draft board, and it went seventh overall. So those two Pokemon were already taken by the time we drafted 12th overall. So we went with my number three on my overall board, and that was Incineroar. Um, perks of Incineroar, it has Intimidate. It also has, it's also a Fire Dark type, so... We cover a pretty good core there with dark and fire starting, you know, starting starting our cores. Um, and center our cores, very good. Intimidate Mon, can switch it out. Has Intimidate, has Parting Shot, it has um, Lash Out, Burning Jealousy. Um, all moves that will be really fun to use, I think, in the new, like, post Isle of Armor content. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so our second round pick was Dragapult. I was hoping, I was hoping, now this is wishful hoping, I was hoping one of the Indeedees would be there for me as like I had Indeedees like 10th and 12th. I had 10th, I had female Indeedee 10th and male Indeedee 12th on my draft board. Um, but we went ahead and went with Dragon Pole with obviously both the Indeedees gone, Whimsicott gone. Um, those literally win like the next few picks after that. Um, we could have scooped up. I know Amoongus was gone too. Amoongus was gone. Porygon. I know I think Porygon too. No, we could have gotten Porygon too. That was a possibility. Uh, I actually had Porygon two fifth on my draft board. Actually above Dragapult. But I like the idea of Dragapult being there and me really wanting to use it. So we kind of made the adjustment. We kind of drafted Dragapult, who was 7th on my overall board. So to get him in the second round, that's still pretty good. Because to me, he was a top 7 Pokemon. So there's great value there. Obviously, great value with Incineroar as well. As I had Incineroar as the 3rd best Pokemon on my draft board. Um, and so to get something I thought was going to be top 3 gone. To get it 12th is pretty good. Um, huge shout out to all those support mons. Um, that everyone wants to scoop up. Very limited support mons out there. So we went ahead and we got Incineroar, who of course is going to be a great, you know, physical attacking Pokemon. And then we have Dragapult, who you can run, you know, physical and special. Kind of depends on your preference. Um, they've leveled their um, base stats are very close to each other. So you can get by that. Um, in the third round, we went ahead and picked up Dracovish. Um, Dracovish, I had 15th overall on my draft board. So once again, we're scooping up value there. I was actually leaning. Um, I believe it, it Primarina was still available. And I was really kind of leaning toward almost grabbing Primarina. Um, we went ahead and we, yeah, Primarina didn't go until, when did Prima go? Oh yeah, Primarina didn't go in the next round. Okay. So I was leaning toward getting Primarina here. Because I actually had Primarina 11th on my draft board. 
but um, I like the idea of, you know, rain boosted, strong jaw, Dracovich. Um, so I went ahead and used that. Um, I dig all the fossil Pokemon this generation too, and Dracovich was really kind of a. It's, it's a fun Pokemon to use. Kind of gimmicky um, in ways. Um, I think, especially as, as people have gotten used to this meta, they kind of know how to handle it. Um, but I felt like, you know what, I need to draft another very strong physical attacking Pokemon. Because I don't want anybody else to get it. It's kind of what you kind of have to, you know, really kind of consider here. It's like, okay, do I skip this? It's going to be a while before. I know this thing is going to be, someone's going to scoop this thing up before it even gets back to me. So we're going to pick it up. And so, with obviously rounds 1, 2, and 3 being filled with a bunch of power, I was like, okay, I need to start setting up. I need some kind of support mons. Um, by that point, I mean, there wasn't really a lot of, like, really, really good trick room Pokemon that I was into. There wasn't really a lot of, like, prankster Pokemon that I was really into. Um, of course, prankster and trick room, again, very too you know, useful things, especially in this game's meta. Um, so I, I went with Galarian Weezing. Now, Galarian Weezing was definitely a reach. Um, I had Galarian Weezing number 70 um, out of my top 120 board. I made 120. I basically wrote down 120 Pokemon that I wanted to draft and consider it from there. So Galarian Weezing was 70th on my draft board so that was a bit of a reach getting it there at four um in the fourth round but basically i was like you know what i i just want to get i just want neutralizing gas yeah that will affect me too um but it will hurt a lot more pe of people that you know are running the rain teams that are running their you know their sun teams that rely on a prankster pokemon to you know kind of get the leg up on the competition so I felt like Glaring Weezing, and Glaring Weezing is actually pretty bulky too, so it adds some much needed bulk to my team. Um, Incineroar is kind of meh, Dragapult's pretty squishy, and so is Dracovish. So I wanted to add some bulk, and Glaring Weezing is actually pretty bulky. Yeah, Neutralizing Gas will affect us, no doubt, um, but it will hurt more. I was just looking at the Pokemon people were drafting, and I was like, I need to, like, we got the obvious rain teams. We got obviously like, you know, prankster setting sunny day teams. We got trick room. I mean, obviously trick room could still go up with neutralizing gas. Um, but it basically stops like, you know, a prankster Pokemon, you know, kind of getting the leg up on us. So it does affect us. Um, I'm not really too worried about it though. Um, again, in center, okay, we can't drop somebody's attack on like on switching. Like, that's, that's not terrible. Like, that's not into the world for us. Um, Dragapult, okay. You know, we can't use, I don't know, Clear Body. Um, Curse Body, like, okay, fine, whatever. You know, th that doesn't really matter too much. Um, Dracovish, okay, we can't use, like, what, Water water Absorb? Okay, that's not, again, that's not terrible. Well, we can overcome that. Um, um, so that's why we went with Glaring Weezing, um, Really good support mon, and it kind of it, it gets rid of all these Pokemon's abilities that people are hoping to use to try to get a leg up on us. Um, so round five, we went with Gyarados. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing about this was I was deciding between Gyarados and Corviknight. They were both available. Um, Corviknight being 28th overall on my board and Gyarados being 30th on my board. I was kind of alternating between the two. I was like, Gyarados is good. It's more power. Um, it adds the flying type that we were also missing. Um, so it's another thing. It's a ground immunity pretty much for us, which I was really thinking of because I was like, I have Incineroar. Like, I need something that could take, you know, ground um, and really help us out. So we went ahead and we got Gyarados. I, I actually made a mistake when I drafted this one. I was actually leaning more toward Corviknight because of the bulk Corviknight has and the ability to set up Tailwind and everything like that, or Max Airstream. Um, 
basically something to help boost our speed up a little bit. Gyarados can do the same thing, um, but I do kind of, I, I, I definitely meant to draft Corviknight for sure. Um, but Gyarados is really good. We got Moxie. We can also run Intimidate on it too if we choose to. Uh, we can kind of get a double Intimidate going off with Incineroar and Gyarados. We can swap those two in and around each other. Um, we can just, you know, we, we can wreak havoc on people. Um, but definitely wanted Corviknight here. Um, Whooping Flying Types. And Corviknight also would have gave us the Steel ability. Or Steel ability, the Steel Typing. Which would have helped. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, Gyarados... I think it'll be a fine member. It's definitely not... I'm not upset by it. They're really close on my draft board anyway. Um, so we just went with it. Um, I just had Gyarados on my mind when I was already thinking of like my next round pick. Because, <laughs> again, I wanted to look for more support. Um, so then around round six, we went ahead and got Pinkurchin. Now, Pinkurchin has um, Electric Surge, which is good. Um, it sets up Electric Terrain, which looking at our team at this moment didn't really doesn't really help us you know um in fact it might actually honestly if you look at Gyarados and yeah really Gyarados honestly Gyarados yeah um it might hurt us more than helping um but mainly it was just another put one like I wanted a terrain setter but incursions also pretty bulky as well um it's bulky um, and it was electric terrain, and I just I just wanted a terrain setter on my team, and we we're kind of very limited. I don't think there's anything available at this point that I actually wanted. Um, so we went ahead and we just got Pinkurchin. I felt like Pinkurchin was definitely the best option here, and it was another another bulky support mon that we needed to add to this team. So in slot seven, I was like, okay, well we need to draft something that can work with Pinkurchin. So we went ahead and we got a Lolan Raichu. Lolan Raichu having the ability um, Surge Surfer, I think it is. Um, which obviously will definitely help in this situation. And then Alolan Raichu also benefiting. Alolan Raichu can also benefit from um, Psychic Terrain and Electric Terrain. So if an opponent I'm going against decides to use you know, Psychic Terrain, we have Alolan Raichu. Alolan Raichu benefits from that. Um, we got... Um, but Rising Voltage, and, um, I think it can even learn Expanding Force, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so Alone Raichu definitely will benefit from the terrains. Um, also another quick Pokemon. We need, we needed speed here. Um, so again, that's just gonna work in our favor in the long run here. Um, and then obviously with, like, Pokemon like Pinkurchin and Galarian Weezing, and even Vileplume, they don't really benefit. Um, they're not really fast mons, so if we're ever going against a Trick Room team, we are kind of sort of there. So that kind of goes ties us to our eighth round selection. We went with Vileplume. Now I was contemplating here. I was like, who do I get? Um, we still had um, we still had Gengar available. Gengar was fifty two on my list. We had Vanillux, who was 56 on my list. Uh, we had Draco Result, who was 58 on my list. Uh, Inteleon was 65, and Araquanid was 67. And we went ahead and got Pinkurchin, or Vileplume, which actually, fun fact, Vileplume is actually not even on my list. I don't think Vileplume is on my list at all, honestly. Yeah, it's not even on my overflow list. But the main reason why we went with Vileplume is because, like, when I was battling the Jamaican Jolteons, shout out to Lincoln, by the way, um, he runs this very strong defensive wall Vileplume, and that kind of inspired me to make this pick, honestly. Um, we needed bulk, and we also needed a grass type, um, and I wasn't really happy with any of the grass type Pokemon that were available. I mean, I think the next grass Pokemon that was on my list was down a little bit, um, all the way down at, uh, Serena. <laughs> Serena at 80. So, I mean, it was a little bit of the ways down, 
and but I wanted something with more bulk to it and I really like the way Lincoln was running his bioplume um it's I think it gets um compound eyes I think I think it's compound eyes um which helps with status condition so it's there kind of just to set up our statuses and just to be an overall wall it'll take some hits for us and it's overall pretty good Pokemon very underrated so I just wanted something that like I was inspired to draft just something I've learned in the last like month or two battling people so it's definitely an inspiration pick um it might or might not stay um this league that we do they do do a lot of trades and people drop and change Pokemon quite frequently so I'm definitely excited to see what happens with that so that is going to be our squad to start season two. Um, I don't think we're gonna do any trades. I kind of want to see how the first couple of weeks go. Um, I want to play around with these new, you know, you know, with the new toys. You got, you know, when you buy a new car, you got to take it for a spin. You know, you got to take it on a road trip. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and battle maybe a week or two. See how we like it. See what we need to change. Like maybe you know what? Maybe Galarian Weezing's hurting us more than we would like. That's fine trade it out um maybe somebody wants Gyarados we can trade them that's fine too um I, again maybe Vile Plume's not and maybe I don't know how to rock it you know we'll go ahead and we'll trade it out there too and like that's the great thing about this it's gonna be a lot of fun um season does start August 10th I think is when to start the first week um I know years past or the season's past years past the season past we've done two matches a week but we'll see. I'm excited how this one will go. We definitely got a lot more coaches here. And I think the competition is going to be even more fierce than it has been ever. So be sure to hit a like if you guys like. Hit that subscribe button. Um, we're almost at 200. We're one subscriber away from 200. Hit that subscribe button. Um, let's see if we can go over 200. That would be amazing. Um, don't forget to follow on Twitch. Links will be in the description. Buy your Phoenix Soul Rocks merch now. Um, I'm about to scoop myself up one, so you should do the same. <laughs> Anyways, guys, peace out, have a good one, and always wear your mask, and stay safe. Peace out.